in Artist Alley, you meet a lot of great artists. So I'd like to introduce you to... I'm Kelman Andrushovsky. See, I was going to try to say the last name, but I didn't want to mess it up for you. Everyone messes it up. You would be in good company. It's been messed up by some pros and giants. So what are you best known for? I'm probably best known for a cover run at Marvel on X-23. I also did uh, NYX Volume 2 for them. And just lots of cover art for both companies, Marvel, DC, even Valiant, Image. What are some of the um, characters you'd like to work on most? I like mutants. I'm partial to mutants. Anything with an X in it generally uh, floats my boat. Um, and now I'm writing and drawing a new series featuring Canadian superhero from the past, Captain Canuck. I'm rebooting and we're bringing him back. So honestly, right now, that's my favorite thing because I'm writing and drawing it. I get to draw anything I want to because I'm writing it. So Captain Canuck gone for a little while. What made them want to bring him back? Not just a little while, a long while. The last, like, canonical Captain Canuck comic came out in 1981. Okay. There have been a couple of, like, attempted reboots and re-envisionings, like, over the years, but not too many. And, yeah, in the last couple of years, we've kind of re rebooted him from the ground up. We're taking the original hero, Tom Evans, who wore the suit in the, in the, in the classic series, and just, it's like we gave it the Battlestar Galactica treatment, like, total <laughs> reboot. Some of the characters that were white guys are now women, people of color. Um, it's a much more intricate cast and a bigger universe than it was before. Technology plays more of a role. It's set in the present of now. The original Captain Canuck was written in the 70s and set in the future of the 90s. So it's, it's a lot more current um, and a lot more interesting. I think we're doing a bigger story. Aliens are still a part of it, so there's sci-fi. Um, but it's, uh, it's a super soldier in a Canadian style. Why do you think Canadian heroes have such a hard time for the rest of the world to accept? I mean, our famous... I'm not sure that that's true. Yeah. I think Canada is considered awesome everywhere in the world, except for Canada and the US. So like, Canadian things are actually considered cool in England. We just don't see that over here. Now we're Canadians, we're self-effacing, we're a little embarrassed about ourselves, and America just thinks we're their hat. But that's not reality, that's just one small corner of the world. I think Canada is cool, and I think the rest of the world knows Canada is cool. I just meant as far as characters goes. I mean, Wolverine is the most famous Canadian. You're just arguing against your point right now. Wolverine is one of the most successful characters Marvel's got, and he's Canadian. So what were you saying about Canadian characters having a hard time? I have been told. Thanks, man. My pleasure. This is Kelman Andrushovsky, and you are watching Comics Asylum.